Team Keep It Clean, y'all sleeping? Well, wake up because we got big news. Russell Wilson is signing with the Pittsburgh Steelers. See, this is why in NFL, when you hear GMs, when you hear teams say, oh, we're committed to this player. Oh, we're not thinking about any other players. We're not thinking about picking this guy up. We're not thinking about signing that guy. All that's just talk. All of it. Nothing means anything until it's official. And the Steelers were saying, oh, we're committed to Kenny Pickett. We're going to see how Kenny Pickett does. We're riding with Kenny Pickett. But look what they're doing right now. They're bringing in Russell Wilson. And that could have been just talk. So no other teams really thought that they were going to be part of a bidding war at the Pittsburgh Steelers. It could have been for a number of reasons. But regardless, it was just talk. Russell Wilson, he's signing a one-year deal, a super small deal for $1.2 million. But you might say, man, how are Steelers getting Russell Wilson for so cheap? I would have thought Russell Wilson being a Super Bowl winning quarterback, being still a good quarterback, maybe not great, but he could still play. But how could they get him for such a low number? Well, Adam Schefter broke it down for us. He said, nine-time Pro Bowl quarterback and former Super Bowl champ Russell Wilson plans to sign with the Pittsburgh Steelers per league sources. Wilson will sign a team-friendly one-year deal in which the Broncos will wind up paying $38 million of his salary while Wilson wears the black and yellow. So the way that that broke down, since the Denver Broncos cut him and he still has some money left uh, on his contract, whatever money the Steelers signed him for, that would sort of be, that would be taken away from whatever money Denver has to pay him. But since he's already getting paid from Denver, Russell Wilson is getting his bread from Denver, any part of that bread that the Steelers paid him, like say for instance, so he's getting 38 mil from Denver. He's getting 1.2 mil from the Steelers. So he, he was due 39.2 mil this year. Say for instance, if the Steelers were like, all right, we're going to sign you to a $30 million contract, then the Denver Broncos would only be responsible for 9.2 mil. Russell Wilson would still be getting that money regardless. So Steelers are like, look, we're going to let Denver Broncos pay the majority of your salary. We'll give you a little chunk of change. Not much, but you're getting your bread either way. So Russell Wilson is straight, and now he gets to go to a team led by Mike Tomlin, who Mike Tomlin just refuses to have a losing record. He just refuses to go under 500. He'll be around 500. He'll be slightly above 500, but he refuses to go under 500. But now, the thing about Mike Tomlin, which, why, which is why so many people respect him like crazy uh, with his body of work, is because ever since Ben Roethlisberger retired, Steelers have just really been looking for a quarterback, and it just hasn't been working out very good at all um Kenny Pickett the most recent experience and whatnot but it's just been like uh, and I mean even me as a Ravens fan with Kenny Pickett he's a frustrating quarterback because for three quarters he'll be playing like but then in the fourth quarter especially against our Ravens for some reason that fourth quarter Kenny Pickett that's when he want to make a couple plays here and there and still end up beating us they end up beating us but anyway this really puts them in a good position because under Mike Tomlin, like I said, they don't have losing records, but now you have a much better quarterback than you've had probably since Ben Roethlisberger. You have a much better quarterback. So now this gives you an opportunity in a tough, tough division, a division where literally every single team, the Ravens, the Browns, the Bengals, and the Steelers, they all each finished over 500. And the Steelers have been doing this really with – not so good quarterback play. But now they just upgraded their quarterback. So you got some heavy hitters in that AFC North, man. You got Lamar Jackson on the Ravens. You got Joe Burrow with the Bengals. You got Deshaun Watson and Joe Flacco with the Browns. Flacco, you about to take your spot? We'll see. But anyway, and now you got Russell Wilson with the Pittsburgh Steelers. So now, um, this is going to be fun. This is going to be really, really fun. And this is just going to make the AFC North that much better. It's already the best division in football. And you can't argue with that because, again, look at the numbers. Look at the, every team finished over 500. Every single one. Every team was competitive. Every team fought. Every team kicked, scratched, and clawed their way to their record. But every, no, no team had a losing record. Even with all the craziness that was the Browns and they went through four quarterbacks. Even with the Bengals, they lost Joe Burrow for the rest of the season sometime in, what was that, October? And even with the Steelers with <laughs> Kenny Pickett, so you, you got to give the AFC North credit, man. But now Russell Wilson, welcome aboard, my friend. I remember the other day when they said Russell Wilson, he was visiting with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I was like, oh, Colonel, Colonel. But then that same day they said he talked to the Giants, and I was hoping, like, all right, Giants, go, go take Russell Wilson. Go take him. Go on, Steelers. Go to him. But 
it was said that he was in Steelers. He was with the Steelers for a while. He had met with them for a long time, and there was heavy mutual interest on both sides. So I was thinking, okay, okay, Russell Wilson likes the Steelers. Steelers like Russell Wilson, but maybe somebody else might swoop in. Maybe somebody else might come through. Maybe somebody else might pick up Russell. Nope. Steelers said we ain't letting this one get away. We've been having a deal with Kenny Pickett for the longest. We ain't letting Russell Wilson get away. So um, they just recently, this just worked out perfectly for the Pittsburgh Steelers because a couple of weeks ago they cut Mason Rudolph, uh, who was obviously Kenny Pickett's backup. But now this pretty much ends ends it with Kenny Pickett and not ends it with him in Pittsburgh because I'm sure he'll still stay as the backup. But this pretty much ends that, oh, the future. Uh, with Kenny Pickett and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Not that there necessarily was one, but this puts that to bed officially since they're bringing on Russell. Even though it's just a one-year deal, but this lets Kenny Pickett know. This lets Pittsburgh fans know. This lets everybody know, like, hey, Kenny Pickett is not the guy. That's yeah, It didn't work out. We tried, but it just it didn't work out. So that's that. So, Russell Wilson, welcome aboard, my friend. And team, keep it clean. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, because it is about to get crazy. I thought none of this was going to start till tomorrow, but NFL said, no, we doing this tonight. Subscribe to the channel, though, so you don't miss nothing. Leave a like on the video, because it helps out the channel a whole lot, and you'll keep getting recommended videos from us if you like this channel. But you can still leave a like on the video anyway. And then, again, turn notifications on, so you do not miss not a single thing. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Tomorrow is going to be crazy.